Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending on where you're watching us from. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know, I look forward to this uh, videos. It makes me learn more about Lozi and the Sutu uh, uh, culture and of course the language. Thank you so much for Lemo and Wolf Patra <laughs> for always being on the show. Today we would like to say thank you to our subscribers. We have hit the 1,000 milestone. So yes, we have more than a thousand subscribers. <laughs> So a lot of people are tuning in to hear what uh, you, Wolem, and Wolf Patra have to say. So before we talk about um, this week's topics, so we're going to break them into segments. Part one will be recorded. Uh, we're recording everything in one day, but we're going to split them. Video one will be show we're showing you video one right now. The second one, the next week. The third one, the other week. The fourth one, the other week. So you have to keep coming back to hear what Wolemo and Wopatra have to say. Before we start with video one, Wolemo, what do you have to say to our subscribers? I would first like to appreciate um, each and every one of them um, mm -hmm. for subscribing and, you know, for continuing to show the love and support. You know, it is because of such support that, you know, we get encouraged to continue doing more, to continue coming together and not just come together, but, you know, to share our uh, knowledge of our different cultures um, with not just um, the three of us, but, you know, with everyone out there also. So. Um, we just encourage them to continue showing us the support, you know, calling the friend, the family member, and spreading, um, yeah, so the love. So that yes. We, yes, our view. Lilato. Um, Lilato, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, Patrick. Oh, we do Mezangulu. We do continue with the subscribe. Nima comment sami na kau fera lo atavera lo utuanga we to meza hulu God bless you uli mu ami tu se ami ba valele ensha ensha you know when um the today in fact we will be talking more also about the greeting of the hands and I can't wait to hear from Bolemo about uh, from the Sutu side so you have to stay tuned. But we're going to start with the first one is words of everyday conversations. So I, am, I have traveled to Zambia, Western province, uh, the Lozi kingdom, and I've also I'm also going to be traveling to, so where are the Sutus, if uh, you don't mind me asking? I don't know if they are spread everywhere in this one province, one state, where they're mostly found. Um. You can usually, they're more um, predominant in the free state. Um, you can still find them in Gauteng province. So most people know it as Jobek. Well, Jobek is just a city and, you know. Yeah, yeah you can also find them there, but um, predominantly we are in the free state. No, because okay. the free state, um, when they were, you know, dividing the places, um, free state and Lesotho was more or less the same thing. But then, you know, when the white people were dividing, um, that's how it came out to be. Ah, okay, nice. No, the losses are mostly found in Western province. You can find uh, other losses in different provinces, but our king is in Western province. Anyways, history for another day. I want to hear about everyday conversations. I do not want to be stuck <laughs> if I travel to Zambia or South Africa. So I want to hear more if you could just, you know, I want directions, for example. Um, maybe where can I find this place? Uh, you can just guide me in this conversation. Today I'll be doing more of the listening and uh, you can moderate to say, hey, you know, if you're a new person in uh, my city, in my country, you start with maybe greeting. You know, how can I greet? Let's say it's morning. How do I greet? Okay, do I start? Oh, oh yes, yes, uh, we'll, start with, we'll start with South Africa. <laughs> um, yes, with Sesotho, um, it's more of Dumelang, Okay, um, and you are, you say it in plural um, to show respect most of the time, uh, or maybe if you are speaking to an elder also, um, Dumelang, 
Um, Dumelang doesn't necessarily have time. You can say it whichever time of the day it is. You can just say Dumelang. Um, that's the first part when you're okay. treating. Okay. Then maybe let's say you want from there, you want to ask, maybe let's say uh, you are lost, then do you want to go to, uh, 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 you are in Velkom, where I'm from, and mm -hmm. you want to go to Virginia. So you will say Dumelang, then you ask them, how are they? Um, Lekai, then they will respond getting. Then you will say um kineke kupa hubota horena tela ekaba tela eyang um Virginia kifi. Ah, which is the I, way I know that one. I know that one. Kupa, I'm asking like you're begging. <laughs> like, yes, you're yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Which is, you know, um, you are you are asking, um, which is the way to um, Virginia? Oh, nice, Wapacha. Mm. Good almost, morning. Uh, good morning. Okay, actually, it's almost the same. You know, when you go to Western Province, I will pick Western Province. You know, when you are a new person, mm -hmm. there you have to greet Romeleni, just like the Sutus, you know. These days, people like uh, saying, it's, it's like a slang. We are saying, en -sha, en everywhere. You know, it's just uh, you know, trying to interact, to greet you. And then if you want to ask something, just like uh, the way Mr. Lemo is saying, you ask, you say, oh, look, asking, you know, you ask. So they'll say, oh, I'm a okay. Sometimes you want to ask, where you want to go, you are lost, or no such things. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So now, um, as I'm navigating my way around, let's say I'm thirsty. I want some water. How would I, yeah, we'll start with Wopacha. How would I <laughs> say that phrase? Oh, you say, Lukupapamiz. Lukupapamiz, Sha. Lukupapamiz, Sha. Normally, you add even Sha. Mm. Okay. To show that respect. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay. For us, um, you can say Urikinorilwe, which is I'm thirsty. Um can I go Ah, you know what you said? What's I'm thirsty in Lozi? <laughs> you can say like that also, yeah. Yes. Just the same. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, obviously, I just can't ask for water. You know, I need some food. I need energy. <laughs> I need some energy. I need to eat. So, um, I know we're going to record later on different types of food. So, now, the basic, I just need to eat. I want to eat. How would I say that, Tuolemo? Um, Tukupadijo. Or maybe you can... Yes, you can ask them maybe to direct you to a shop, whereby okay. then you will say um, "lebenkele," which is a shop. Um, "Lebenkele le rekisan dijo le kabakili fi o le kai." Then they will direct you. Wow. Okay. What part you Ah, when you want to ask, uh, let's say you want to ask about the food, you can say "lokupa kwalicho." Or if you want to go deeper, you can just say Lishevo. When you say Lishevo, it means you are hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, yes. okay. Wow. So what are the everyday conversations? Um, if you can just guide me here. So I've eaten, um, you know, um, I'm no longer thirsty. Um, maybe, maybe what if um, now I want to take my leave? You know, let's say I'm at a store or I'm at a restaurant. I've finished saving me, I've finished eating, so now I want to pay and then go. What would I, how would I say that in Mozi, that I want to pay for the food? You say, so you say after eating, you say, oh, we too busy. Okay, thank you. We're trying to pay. Okay. Yes. So, well, um, it's not very far. Um, we have two types, if not more. 
Um, you can you can say the same or Kilebuile, which is um, I'm thankful. Kilebuile, um, Kikupaholefa, which is Hupatala to pay, or Hupatala, which is also to pay. Ah. So it depends. Wow. The other one, the other one is more formal than the other. Ah. So Holefa, Holefa is more formal. Hupatala, it's more informal. Ah, okay. So what if um I want and, to yes the one of, of Hopatala, just to say a little bit more about it, it's 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 info it's highly influenced by Africans. Okay. Because to pay in Africans is but patal, patal. Okay. So Africans um and the Sutus, you know, they are usually where the Sutus are, you'll find a lot of African speaking people also. So it's influenced by that. So but Sutu people like to also sutify most of the words that they get from other people. Eh? So when they say a patal, patal, oh, okay, patal. So oh. <laughs> they say <sutify> the <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, speaking of, you know, uh, Africans and we meet people from different cultures. Mm -hmm. We have so many friends. So let's say um, I I find someone, we have a good conversation, and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe we're friends. And I, I want to ask them, oh, I, what's your number? Your phone number? Yes, phone number. Do you know more about how it's a mahala? Nanka, nanka fumana, do you know more about how mahala? Mahala is a phone. And also, Mohala, it's more like a, a line. A so line, remember, oh. Yeah, remember uh, phones previously, they used to be landlines. Yes. So, and normally people used to say, can I get your line? Which is more like, which line? Is it? So Mohala comes from there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mohala, we also say like. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. hence, hence a cell phone, properly it's called Mohala Watiki. Liteka, it's a waste. So it's a mohala, but what he So it's a phone, but the one of the waste. Because remember when the cell phones were coming? Remember those styles people used to put them yes. on the waist here with that aerial? So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my first one was a Nokia. <laughs> Which one? 3310? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Mm. Well, oh, just like it's, it's almost the same. Just like the losses, you say, yeah, look up, look up, number, look up, number, oh, 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 qua, qua light, eh, oh, eh, eh, line, line, qua number, I mean, oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Muhala, because muhala, muhala can mean can mean the rope. Yes, yes, just, even us. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that's why I'm saying it's almost the same. Okay. So with everyday conversations, please, viewers, make sure you comment in the comment section so that we hear what you'd want to learn more uh, when visiting South Africa or uh, Zambia. So we can have more conversations uh, like this. We can do another recording. But for now, I'm kind of out of, um, I can't think of anything else. Well, Katra or Walemo, can you think of uh, anything that I have missed out on with everyday conversations? Um, well, I, yes, yes, Bupatra. Oh, like you know how, you should know how they greet in Lozi when you reach, when, you know, when you go there for the first time. Oh, for the hotel? Okay. Yes, how they greet uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, when going to sleep. Okay, maybe afternoon. maybe let's, uh, th that's interesting, but that segue, we're going to leave it for part three. We're going to do a recording on etiquette, so we'll keep that one for etiquette. We're recording again, so we'll leave that. Okay. Yes, but you should also know the type of food which people eat in that area. Okay. Even the neighbors who can ask, oh, kifaka of women, woman, kifaka of Yes, trying okay. to interact with the neighbors. Okay. So yeah. what does what does that mean for Walemo? 
Woman have I in Africa or FIFA? Eh, eh, what does that mean? Okay, the neighborhood. Okay. Okay. So man, I know. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, you mean we have neighbors on both yes. sides? Yes, you have traveled and you are trying to you know, you are trying to, um, to, to find a trait in the neighborhood to find out who, what type of people are surrounding you. Like, who's, you know? who's your neighbor on the right side? Who's your neighbor on the left side? So it's just an everyday conversation. You're trying to find out about that neighborhood. Oh, yes. Um, you can, you can, but you know, it depends also where you are coming from. But now, let's say now you are coming from um, a place whereby um, that um, it's more um, applicable than um, where I am um, I'm coming from. Because I'm from a township. So in a township, uh, you know, we have neighbors, we are surrounded. It's just, you know, you know, a township is just mixed yes, and mixed right. and everything. So, yeah, but um, you can you can find out from your neighbors, as you said, um, a neighbor in Sesotho is Mohai Sani mm. because Mohai it's um it's 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 it's, it's, it's a build <sighs> straight translation it's a builder so Mohai Sani is more like someone who has built you know alongside you someone who is, is staying alongside you Mohai Sani so Ohaile he has built or she has built you know, near you. So that's your, that's regardless of the distance between the two of you, as long as that's the next house, that's your neighbor for us. Interesting. Mahaisani. That's one. And when there are many, Bahaisani. Okay. And I know you had comments before Bopatra talked about the neighborhood. Yes. I wanted to say, um, now, when you were asking um, about the daily things, I was like, okay, what if you find yourself in um, relocating to South Africa and you find yourself in a place whereby um, you end a shop and people don't speak English and you try to speak English, they're like... They will look at you like... <laughs> yeah, and you want to buy, you have relocated, you want the TV. You want, yeah, maybe nowadays you can still say TV. But let's let's go back a bit and say maybe, you know, you go deep, deep there in the rurals there where they don't know exactly what are the certain things. You know, how do you, how do you say, you know, like you want pods, you know, those kind of things. Uh, so for, 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 for those ones, pods. Ah, Miss Salomo, Miss Salomo, now you're going to recording number two. <laughs> I Let think that we need to take a break. Before we take that break, <laughs> I thought of something. Um, you know, when you're traveling, um, they always talk about safety, right? Everywhere you go, safety. So let's say I have maybe I've dropped my money or I've lost my money, or maybe someone has, you know, pocket, <laughs> you know, a pocket. The, you know, they've stolen my money. How do I say that to a, someone who doesn't speak English? How do I communicate that? To so say, I need help. I can't find my money or I need help. Uh, my money is stolen. You know, like like in Zambia, there are some certain areas whereby when you use English, they like they even nicknaming you and saying, some of us, you know. Oh, but some, but some of us. <laughs> If you ask in English, they will just look at you. Oh, oh okay. My son my son was, was, okay. Yes. So when you want to ask about, mm -hmm. um, like, uh, they have stolen from you, mm -hmm. you say, oh, Banu was very easy. Police, guy. Because you are trying to report to the police. If okay. you want to report to the police, you just ask nicely to say, Banu was very easy. Banu was very easy, meaning, meaning, like, they have stolen from me. Okay. I need to go to the police. Okay, what yes, of money? Manu is really the Manu is the machine. Machine, okay. Yes, yes. Manu is the machine. Oh, the matter we are police. Okay. Yeah. And if it's a bag, Manu is really the mukotani. Manu is really the mukotani. Okay. Mm -hmm. What level? 
Um, yeah, it's it's not very far also in Sesotho. In Sesotho, you can also say the same or a um uh but who uh, for us it it presupposes that you were not there when it was happening. So so you were not there. So if they robbed you, um Bantweri Poho. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's going deeper. <laughs> you'll say Bansuere Poho, which is um they've robbed me. You know, they've marked me, they've robbed me. Yes, and money? Um chelete, money ki chelete. Oh chelete, oh, yes. oh, you know, all those names. Yes. And bags. Um Oh okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So nice viewers, to... please comment. I would like to hear some of those everyday conversations you'd want Wapacha and Willemo to cover next. We'll take a water break. See you next week for I won't tell you what topic it is, but yeah, see you next week. We're taking a water break now. Thank you. Thank you.